Okay, today we're going to be learning about the self-portrait assignment in Illustrator. Basically, you're going to take a picture of yourself in photo booth or use a photo that you've uh, already taken that's school appropriate and open it up in Illustrator and trace it and create your own self-portrait drawing. Uh, let me show you some examples of previous students. You're, each one, when you finish, you're going to shrink up the uh, picture that you trace, put it in one of the corners, put illustrated by your name, and don't forget the year so I know what class you're in. So these are pretty good ones. Some better than others, but that's okay. Not everybody is the same. We have different skill levels. So here are just a few. This is where we started. I already took my picture in photo booth. I am going to open it with Adobe Illustrator. The version we're working on right now is CS4. And when you open it, the picture is bigger than the artboard. So we need the first thing we need to do is change the artboard according to the direction. Don't forget the directions are on eLearn right here. So what we're going to do is set the artboard. So click on the artboard tool. And this is a landscape picture. So I'm going to change the width to 800, height 600, hit enter. There you go. And then I'm going to click on the selection tool. I might even increase the size of the picture a little bit. I'm only going to draw myself. I'm not going to draw the background as well. So you get the picture located where you want to draw yourself. And I'm going to go to my layers palette. If you don't uh, know how to do that, it's just window layers or just press F7 to get the layers palette. So I click. Notice I got this little thing chosen. So I got this layer selected. I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit so I can distinguish what's the photograph and what's drawn and then I'm gonna lock it so that way you don't alter this whatsoever now might be a good time to save this in your uh, six weeks folder as uh, the period underscore last name first initial underscore port portrait alright so now what I'm gonna start where do I start um, you're gonna draw this in layers so first thing I'm gonna do is I got my face here and then I got my hair I got my nose on top of my face, my eyes on top of my face, my ears on top of my face, my beard on top of my face, lips and teeth. So what's on top you draw last. What's in the background you draw first. So I'm going to just draw the outline of my face. And then I would draw the hair on top and all the facial features. So that's where I would start. You can use any of the tools you're comfortable with. Pen tool, pencil tool, brush tool, shapes tool, whatever tool you're you're comfortable with. Um, also, you might get the uh, swatches palette up. Now, there's a glitch on uh, Illustrator. It doesn't always show the default colors, but that's okay. You can go use the libraries, and I'm going to go into my skin tones. It has every most colors of different skins. Another option is to use the eyedrop tool. And that's the color that's most of my face, so I'm going to click on that. Now, <laughs> I don't think I'm really that brown, so I might um, choose a lighter color. Notice as I change, it changes up there. So, once you pick, you're not committed, you can change it later. But let's just go ahead and start. Now, my, my opacity on what I'm drawing is already down. So, if it's at 100, you might change it down because once you draw, um, you may not be able to see the features behind it. I'm going to use the pen tool because it seems to capture the shapes. And you might zoom in using the navigator. Click on that. Notice I'm drawing right over myself. Now, notice I, I can't see 
what's behind there. That's okay. I can go back and change this in a little bit. But I'm just getting an outline of my face. I will do the ears after I'm done. And don't forget, we're going to do the hair later. So I'm just going to draw like I'm, like you're in art class and you're drawing the form. Anyway, pretty much same concept. So I'm just drawing my head. You know, I'm drawing over the hair because I will draw my hair later. So I got my head there. Now, I got my face. Notice I got the selection tool to click off it to deselect it. Now when that happens, you get the opacity. Turn that opacity down right here. And now I can see my face. Now I'm going to turn it down real low and I'm going to I'll turn it back to 100% later when we're all done, but I'm turning it down so I can see my other features. If I want it to go and correct it, I could get like the uh, pencil tool and I could adjust along the edges here if I want. I could come up a little more here. You could also use the smooth tool to kind of smooth it out. But that's not important right now. So what you do now is I'm going to get the pencil tool, get my colors palette, choose stroke, change, hold down command, click off to select the selection tool temporarily. If you still have it selected, it's going to change the color of it. So I deselected it. Stroke of brown, I mean black. I'm going to hit the forward slash to change the fill to uh, transparent for now. Now, what what I'm going to just I'm not going to finish this whole drawing, but I'm just going to trace the features like my eyebrows. I'm going to hold down Option to close it. There you go. Now, you might, you can trace it and fill it, or you might use, find a nice little brush tool to just kind of do that, and it kind of looks like hair. So, um, you can do it either way. So, I'm going to trace this one. Hold down Option, close. Now the way I'm doing it may not be the best way, but I'm just showing you for this example. Now notice I got a little bit of a, a light reflecting off my bald head. So I might trace some of that. Um, but doing the different shades makes it look three dimensional instead of 2D. Um, I'm also going to trace over my hair. And kind of go up and down to kind of match the hair. And I can draw over that if I want. Hold down option. There you go. So I got my hair. I can try to match my hair color, which at 100%, um, my hair is not that dark. So you can sometimes leave the opacity down to kind of make things appear lighter. Also, as you're drawing, I'm going to press F7, get my layers. That's the layers button. And hide it. <laughs> so that doesn't look too much like me right now. But occasionally you need to do that to kind of see how far you progress. Because at the end, that picture is not going to be there. Also, I'm going to hold down Command. I'm going to choose a light skin tone. Now, obviously, I don't want the stroke that color. I want the feel. So I'm going to flip-flop it. So I flip-flopped it. Down command, deselect, go to back to my layers, scroll down. 
Now, I don't like the whole tracing of the eyebrow, so I'm probably going to use redo that with a brush later. Now, I'm going to go back. Since the hair, I kind of like the direction that's going. You can go back with the uh, black stroke and kind of do some lines and add more detail. Let's say I don't like this... Uh, eyelashes here so I'm going to select those and I'm going to delete them they're not doing the trick for me what I can do is I'm going to go and go to my brushes palette and I already have something selected but what I did to get that was I went to uh, the library open library artistic click graphic however you say it anyway I, I chose that and I have my brushes palette and this is the brush I chose what's cool is I have, let's see I have dark eyelashes I'm just going to so I can choose that now that's a little bit thick for me I could also go in and um, draw that with my my beard so I could I could do it that way too. I'm going to leave that alone though. Now, let's go back to the layers palette. See what I got here. Looks a little bit closer. So, the next thing I'm going to draw is my ears. So, I'm going to get the pen tool. draw my ear select off of it change the opacity of course and I'll come back to it now I'm going to draw my other pit here doesn't have to be perfect just try to capture the general shape and then go back with the pencil tool or something and uh, correct it all right, so I got my ear. Change the opacity. All right, so let's see what we got here. Starting to look more and more closer like me. Not exactly. Like, I don't claim to be the best artist, but um, if you just try to do every little detail at a time and see what works, you'll eventually find something that looks uh, good. Let's start on the shirt leave the face start on the shirt pencil tool this is something I can trace it really quickly now notice I'm just outlining the whole shirt I want to fill in the details on top of it later hold down option close and then I might go and correct some of it I got the outline of my shirt. That's not going to change. I'm going to choose a fill color. So I'm going to put fill on front. Use the eye drop tool. There, that kind of matches pretty closely. That's what we got so far. Now I'll go back and put in my neck and all that and set it behind this later. You could add a stroke around it. Now I'm a stroke color. I want it to be black so I'm going to choose black. Now let's see what it looks like now. See got a little stroke around it outline. Now if I want I can increase the stroke thickness a little bit or I can leave it real thin I don't. for now I'm going to leave it about level 2 and then get the pencil tool and I'm going to put in some details mm. 
you know, and then you can get the little buttons with the uh, shape tool. Um, if you want, I, if I wanted to, I could do the little creases. I could do my little pocket here. Um, I could choose a pattern to fill this instead of a solid color that matches kind of like the plaid. But uh, let, let's see what I got here. There you go. Now when I increase the opacity of this 100%, there, starting to, starting to look a little bit better. Just gradually but surely keep adding more features. Now I'm going to start on my eye. Eyes are not very easy to do, but especially if you got little beady eyes like me. Probably the way I'm going to handle my eyes is it's going to look like I have mascara. So I'm going to take the stroke off and um, probably just use a solid shape with a with a fill. You find a swatch library like corporate that has uh, some current stuff. Now where did my skin tones go? Join those together. No, not like that. I meant together. There, corporate and skin tones. All right, back to eye. I'm gonna choose white. Now, I did not mean to change the stroke to white, so I'm gonna flip it over here. So, there, more like that. Now, I will lighten that a little bit, a little bit later. So, back to this. This is what we got. Slowly but surely, my face is coming into form. Might start with my lips now. Kind of have a full bottom lip here. And what might help is if I use the navigator. And I'm going to focus on those lips. Now, I was pretty far off on that one. So, yeah. Let's use the pen tool. Captures the uh, roundness of the lips. To get a good full outline of them. So I got my lips here. Now I can go with the pencil tool and correct some things. Um, I'm going to go to the skin tones. Now lips are not really red. They're more just a darker color of what your skin already is. I mean you can choose red if, especially if you're a girl and you have uh, lipstick. Now I'm going to choose that and I'm going to lower the opacity. Now, sometimes you want to leave your opacity lowered a little bit so it kind of blends in with the skin that's already there. So, that's my bottom lip. Now, I'm going to use the pen tool again. there not perfect but once again it'll do change the opacity down match the uh, color there now I might go with the uh, pencil tool and do some corrections yep. click off there you go kinda looks a little weird there you go starting to look like me me there. very long process 
but this is uh, basically how you approach things. Now, before I quit, I'm going to do do my eyes. So I'm going to concentrate on those. I'm going to zoom zoom in and click on my eye. I'm going to change the opacity down. Um, I need my image to show back up. Now I'm going to get the pupil, the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down Option. My eyes are like light brown. So I'm going to choose that. Change the opacity. There you go. Turn the opacity down on that even further. Now I really can't see, so I'm going to be guessing on this. I'm going to and then use the arrow tools. Move it around. Now I can change this. Black. Now, it's not always solid black, so I'm going to lower the opacity on that. Alright, so now, i got my eye. Let me click off. Now, let's see, what, let's see what this eye... See? Starting to look more like an eye. Now, I would do the same to the other one. I'll go over the ears and do more details on the ears. Do the shirt, add my neck. Um, when it's finished, and it's the way you want it, you know, it might add some more detail to the hair, like s some brush strokes to kind of add like shades like real hair does. Change the opacity to everything needed to back to 100%. Put il shrink my picture up, put it in the right corner, put illustrated by your name and then the year that you are doing this. And that is pretty much it. Now, it looks a little weird now, but it'll come into shape and start looking like me once I add my nose and more details. But that's pretty much it for the self-portrait assignment. <laughs>